I'm Megan McDavid and this is The Look News 4 on 1. The House of Grace Hospice in Glens Falls has reopened after its executive director was arrested on embezzlement charges. The hospice was closed 15 months ago, reopened its doors Monday morning. Robert Spratt was arrested last fall for stealing $26,000 between October 2011 and June of 2012. Police say a woman walking on Granger Avenue in Saratoga Springs Saturday night was beaten and robbed, and the attacker is at large. The victim tells police she had just turned onto Granger Avenue when she was attacked by a white male. South Glens Falls has a new mayor on the job. Republican Joe Orlo was sworn into office Monday morning by South Glens Falls trustee and Queensbury Town Justice Mike Muller. Orlo asked for the early swearing in so he could get right to work. Now a second public ceremony will be held Wednesday night during the village trustee meeting in case you missed it. State troopers are planning extra patrols this week to enforce the speed and so-called move over laws. The move over law requires drivers on multi-line highways to move over one lane when approaching stopped emergency or police vehicles. Troopers say speed remains a leading cause of fatalities and poses a threat to police and emergency workers. Here's your Forum 1 for Tuesday. If you are looking for a job, print your resume and head for the Saratoga Springs City Center. Over 25 businesses including Angelo Dynamics, the Gideon Putnam and Burger King will be on hand for the annual Saratoga Job Fair. The event runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm Megan McDavid, that's your Look News 4 on 1, and you're now up to date.